Hey guys, Nick here with another episode of 9 to 5 Crypto. And have you ever asked yourself the question, why was I not early to something? Why was I not early to my doctor's appointment? Why was I late again? Ugh. Why did I miss that interviewer to show up late again? Ugh. One, two, three, not it, not it, not it, not it, not it, no, no, not it. Oh, shit. Why was I not early to an opportunity? Well, guys, I think it has a lot to do with accessibility and, again, knowing where to look. But I have a video directly about that down in the comments below. This video is going to focus on a certain cryptocurrency asset. And that asset is called Materium. Yes, it is the crypto asset of the upcoming game called Mirandus, which is going to be an epic open world MMO RPG game, something akin to RuneScape, which if, you know, RuneScape's any sort of indicator of future success, there's still hundreds of thousands of people playing RuneScape. Then I feel pretty confident about Gala Games Mirandus. It's going to be an epic game that you're going to be able to sail the seven or eight seas or nines. I don't know how many seas there's going to be in Mirandus, but you're going to be able to set sail with your friends in Mirandus in an epic MMO world RPG game. So guys, this is going to be a short and sweet tutorial on how to go out and get yourself some material in case you're interested. Let's get to the breakdown right now. All right, guys, the first thing you want to do is actually go check out the coin on CoinGecko or even CoinMarketCap like we are doing in, here in this tutorial to figure out where that coin is actually located and being offered to be sold. So you can check out Materium here, search it. You scroll all the way down, you can see markets right material markets and you can see it's uniswap v3 you might be asking well what is uniswap uniswap is a decentralized exchange otherwise known as a dex it's different from a centralized exchange in the respect that it's carrying out contracts in the back end that is processing transactions and trades and it's not moderated or controlled by one entity unlike things like you know coinbase etc where you know it's an entire organization that controls that and it becomes even more inherently risky given that you know you've seen what happened with the luna crash and all these other groups that have gone under such as celsius need i give more examples so we then want to make our way to uniswap so you can just type in uniswap.org should take you to the right location again make sure you're interacting with https links urls okay make sure they're always with an s as well that's showing it's a secure site and then come over here to launch app once you've loaded up to the interface of uniswap this is the application that's going to allow you to exchange different currencies for materium okay so yes you'll essentially still be buying materium but you'll have to buy a certain asset exchange it for that materium and then you'll have materium in this wallet but the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that your web3 wallet connects with uniswap so you can go up to the top right, click on connect wallet, and then collect MetaMask, Coinbase wallet, Wallet Connect, or Fortmatic. These are all different options of Web3 wallets. For this example, we're gonna use MetaMask as a tutorial. I also have a video down in the description below that includes a full MetaMask setup in case you're interested in using MetaMask in the future. It will then prompt you to log in once you already have MetaMask set up. And then now on the top right, you'll have shorthand of your address, your public address, for this wallet and it'll be up in the top right. That will be essentially your notification to say, hey, you're connected to the Uniswap app. Now we're on to the exchanging and swapping part of this whole equation. You can swap with Ethereum to wrapped ETH to Materium, or you can sw simply actually click Ethereum and then select your Materium token. Now, when I first did this, Materium wasn't popping up, but if you type in MTRM, it should be able to find the address and then you'll have to like add the token. There'll be an add token button on there. Click that add token button and then it should be a selectable option in the future. All right, guys, once you've successfully imported Materium, the contract address from CoinGecko and you've added it to your list, it should appear right down here below. And I think the simplest way of doing this, getting wrapped ETH swapped for Materium is really just getting into ETH. So loading up ETH into your MetaMask wallet and then having it here connected to Uniswap and swapping ETH directly for Materium. It's going to process two different transactions. Sometimes it gets held up halfway through, so it might swap Ethereum for wrapped Ethereum and then stop. In case it does that, just simply click from ETH up here 
to wrapped ETH, wrapped Ethereum, and then you should see that you now have some wrapped Ethereum. For this example, I'm going to actually complete the transaction in front of you guys as well to kind of give you guys an idea of how to complete this. First, I'm gonna to need to add a little bit of Ethereum to my MetaMask wallet. You can do this by opening up your MetaMask wallet by clicking up in the top right and then it should open up and then you can click the buy button and there are different ways of adding ethereum or other crypto to your metamask wallet but i just usually directly deposit eth it should pop up a qr code that is scannable so if you're on kucoin or coinbase you can go through the application look for the send button on ethereum and you can scan in your personal qr code for your metamask wallet it also have a contract address below in case you're doing this over desktop which you can then copy and paste that address and then it will send in to that ethereum address in your metamask wallet also something else of note is that sometimes when you're using kucoin for example to send ethereum to your metamask wallet when scanning the qr code it will put the letters ethereum like written out and a colon before the 0x transaction you want to make sure that it starts with 0x aka get rid of ethereum get rid of the semicolon and make sure there's no space in front of it and just make sure it starts with 0x on the ethereum address now we just wait. You guys have the benefit of teleporting into the future by skipping this section. I'll skip it for you, forget it. <laughs> we're going to switch out or swap Ethereum for Materium. So we're gonna plan on this going from Ethereum to wrapped Ethereum and the back end, and then to Materium. So if it fails halfway, again, we might just be loaded up in wrapped Ethereum. So clicking max here on my ETH, it'll then fetch me the best price, so it's looking. And we can see that there's a gas fee about 236 there. We're gonna go for a swap. We're gonna confirm the swap. And then it's gonna pop up in your top right, your MetaMask wallet. And then you're gonna to have to confirm that total transactional cost with that gas fee. So you can see the estimated gas fee right above and then the total right below it. Confirm. And now you can see up in the top right is pending and you can see transaction submitted. If you need to click add MTRM, that's add Materium. It's gonna add essentially a placeholder in your uh, MetaMask wallet where you, you can then view your Materium coins. Click and close. Gonna let you time travel real quick. And then up in the top right, it should give you a confirmation once it's done pending as a swap exactly blah, 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 you know, Ethereum and your specific number of Materium that you got back. And another way to confirm is you can see down here in Uniswap, it should show your balance as well. And then finally, you can check in your MetaMask wallet and check the balance. Just check in the assets tab in the top left when you click up into the MetaMask icon in the top right. All right, guys. Well, that is a wrap on how to pick up Materium today via a decentralized exchange Uniswap and a MetaMask wallet. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please drop them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get to them and help you out if you need anything. And guys, like I always like to say, coffee's on me. It's actually cranberry, not, yeah, cranberry juice, not coffee. Whoops. Shh.